Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from all the Mother Pisa Games team. I'm Rania Lampo from Greece. I'm a global educator, STEM instructor, ICT teacher trainer, researcher, and I'm working at the Greek Ministry of Education, at the Directorate of Educational Technology and Innovation, and the Greek Astronomy Space Company. Furthermore, I am a global ambassador of language, literary, and oratory art as well as education of the National Pythian Council and also is the National Ambassador of Ecumenical Delphic Union. Today, I have great pleasure to welcome you all to our eighth global virtual conference organized by Modern Pythian Games and the National Pythian Con Council. Modern Pythian Games is the first global cultural movement which unifies arts, cultures, and traditional sports through a multitude and a wide variety of international collaborative activities. Our inspiration is always answered Greece. Pythian Games included various um, cultural and musical competitions and artistic competitions in the past were held in honor of God Apollo, the God of uh, light and poetry, and especially the competitions of the sanctuary of Delphi. Delphi, in the sixth century before Jesus Christ, was the religious center and symbol of unity of the ancient Greek world. Today, we have renowned dignitaries from different countries, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Tunisia, Uzbekistan, India, and Greece, who will present various aspects of the culture of the country, but they also they will share their views about how modern Pithian games could be implemented in their modern society. So without further ado, I request Mr. Bijender Guel, founder of Modern Pithian Games, and founding the Secretary General of the National Pithian Council, to deliver his uh, welcoming address. So Mr. Bijender, we are honored to welcome you to the virtual stage. Good evening, good evening everybody here. Kalespera, namaste from India. My dear friend Rania, Miss Nana Paradeji from Georgia, Miss Hayat Hassini from Tunisia, Miss Mehriban Maikova from Azerbaijan, my friend Rahul Chaudhary, and we have very distinguished guest today, Mr. Neeraj Karwal. He is a very senior officer in government of India. He is from Indian Administrative Services. He is also joined here. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed representatives from around the world and our valued online viewers joining us from around the world. Today, I am here with a great pride, not only as a an Indian, but also as the founder of Modern Pythian Game. I draw inspiration from the monumental success of our Chandrayaan 3, the moon mission of India. It is a testament to the boundless human spirit, its ingenuity and unwavering determination. Now let me share a remarkable coincidence that connects the trump of Chandrayaan with the tradition that has celebrated human potential for centuries, and that is the Pythian Games. On 23rd of August 2023, India achieved a momentous feat in space exploration. A date is marked in history now. This remarkable success is not just an Indian achievement, it is a global celebration of what humanity can achieve when we can work together. I may be wrong, but it is fact also that makes this event more interesting and that is the connection it shares with the Pythian Games. According to Greek lunar calendar, the Pythian Games begin every four years on the seventh day of the month Bukatios. Bukatios is the month of August. This closely aligns with the Indian month of Shravan. We call it Shravan also. 
usually falling in the month of August and September. And by chance, this year, the seventh day of Bukatias was the 23rd of August 2023, the same day when India reached the moon. It is also important to mention here that our Chandrayaan 2 landing was also planned for the same auspicious time frame as it is a beautiful alignment of cosmic events linking the conquest of moon and the legacy of the Pythian games. However, as history often reminds us, destiny has its own plans. On 7th of September 2019, precisely four years ago, our mission faced a setback occurring on the ninth day of lunar calendar. It was a challenging moment, one that taught us the value of resilience, a core principle of Pythian games. Just like the ancient athletes who faced adversities and pushed their limits we to keep learning from our setbacks. Now as we looked at ahead, the Pythian games of 2027 become us. Mark your calendar for the 7th September 2027. It is a date that bridge our past, present and the future. As well, it is the seventh day, it will be the seventh day of the Bukastius month and the month of September. It will be the, it will be the same day when the our Chandrayaan 3 landed on the moon and it's the same coincidence situation we have. This date symbolizing the unity of nations, the spirit of competition and the relentless pursuit of excellence. It is the seventh moon day of the Greek lunar calendar and Saptami, Saptami, seventh day, Saptami of the Hindu calendar after Amavasya. I appeal to each one of you representing your nations to reflect on the story we have shared today. It is a story of determination, resilience, and the unyielding pursuit of our goals. Indeed, Chandrayaan 2 taught us that setbacks are not failures. They are opportunities to learn, adapt, and emerge stronger. In fact, I too have experienced such failure and emerged victorious while establishing the modern Pythian games around the world. As we prepare for the Pythian games in 2027, let's embody the spirit of Indian moon mission. Let's remember that the greatest victories after arise from our most challenging moments. The Pythian games are not just about competition. They are about unity, camaraderie and pushing the boundaries of human achievement. Today, let's pledge to face our challenges with unwavering determination. Let us strive for excellence, not just for personal glory, but for the betterment of our nation and our world. Mahatma Gandhi, our great leader and the father of the nation, used to say, you may never know what results come of your action. You may never know what results come of your actions, but if you do nothing, there will be no results. Let's take action. Let's complete. Let's compete. Let's inspire. And together, let's make history of at the Pythian Games in 2027. Thank you. And may the spirit of Chandrayaan guide us all towards greatness. Thank you so much.